Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set your RAW defaults in Adobe Camera Raw. Let me explain. On my desktop, I have a Nikon RAW file. It doesn't matter what type of camera's RAW file you have. We're just going to open it up into Photoshop. Of course, when you open a RAW file directly into Photoshop, it will open up in Adobe Camera Raw. Adobe Camera Raw, when you open up this RAW file, even if it's not processed at all, it does a bit of processing to it. For example, it set the profile as Adobe Color. Also, if you go down to Detail, you'll see that it added a sharpening of 40 with those settings. It also did noise reduction at 0, but color noise reduction at 25. So it did some RAW default settings it applied some raw default settings to the image. What if you don't like these raw default settings? What if, in my case, I want sharpening at zero for every raw file I import into uh, Adobe Camera Raw, as well as maybe I want color noise reduction. I want that at zero as well. Maybe I don't want to use the Adobe Color Profile when I import images. Maybe I prefer to use Adobe Landscape or Adobe Portrait or something like that. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, I want to use Adobe Standard, okay? So whenever I import images into Adobe Camera Raw, it's going to use the Adobe Standard uh, profile, and it's going to use, or it's going to set sharpening, noise reduction, and color noise reduction at zero all the way across. Now I could even do more. Maybe I want to add some something with the curve here. I want to um, do, I don't know, something. Or maybe I want um, the basic tab. I want to have, you know, shadows all the way up and highlights all the way down or something like that. If that is the case, you could do it right now. What you'll need to do, though, is after you set these settings, is create a develop preset with these settings. So I have the settings the way I want them. That is, that detail, just everything down to zero and Adobe Standard Profile, right? What I could do then is go right here to this icon, Presets, and go to this little new page icon. So we're going to create a new preset. And by here, again, I want to use the profile Adobe Standard. I didn't do any settings there, and I didn't do any settings there. I did do detail settings. I didn't do color mix or color grading. Optics I didn't do. Effects I didn't do. Calibration I didn't do, but leave process version set. And we're going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it my... This was shot with the Nikon Z7 II, let's do it this way, to import preset. All right, let's just call it that. And I'm going to keep it in my group user presets and click OK. All right, so I have that preset. But I manually have to do that if I bring images into Adobe Camera Raw, raw files into Adobe Camera Raw. Well, you could have it do it automatically. That's the whole point of this video. Go to these three dots, and then go all the way down to the bottom, set raw defaults. So what I could do now by raw defense, I could just go global, let's say, and use the Adobe default. That's what it was doing already. I don't want that, right? I could click it. I could do camera, pre camera settings, right? So if I shot with this Nikon Z7 II and inside of my camera I used the landscape profile or the black and white profile or something like that. If I set camera settings that means when I import the RAW file into Adobe Camera Raw or open the RAW file in Adobe Camera Raw it will open with that camera setting profile. I don't want that. I want to use those other settings I talk about I talked about. So I would choose the preset down here. Z7 II. Now, whenever I open up images in Adobe Camera Raw, it's going to use what I called the Nikon Z7 II import preset. But you know what? I kind of made this camera specific. So you can actually do this camera specific. So let's undo this. Let's go back to Adobe Default up there. But let's go down here. This Nikon C down here, we have Nikon Z7 II. You could make import presets for every camera you own and make them different. So, for example, maybe you have um, an older Nikon camera, like a Nikon D7000, that needs more noise reduction than a Nikon Z7 II. So you could go to those uh, detail defaults 
and give it more noise reduction. And then for any images that are imported with the Nikon D7000, it will get an import preset that has more noise reduction than let's say the Nikon Z7 II. So you could do it by camera and that's what I'll do here. So I have this here, it's the same thing as above, but it's for the camera. So we're overriding the global setting for the specific camera. Make sure that's checked, then that will be active. Then you go to this drop down. you have the same thing. We're already doing Adobe default, we didn't want that. Camera settings, I mentioned I didn't want to do that. That's again the profile that you have in the camera when you took the shot. I want to use this preset, Nikon Z7 II import preset, or you could choose a different one there. So I'm doing that. Now that is what I want to use. Now if I had more than Nikon Z7 II, I could show the serial numbers and then I could do this to each individual Nikon Z7 II. Let's say I have one that I use for landscape photography and I want to use a landscape profile in that one, but I have another one that I use for portrait photography only and I want to use a portrait profile on that one and maybe I have different settings as well for each of those. I could click this button, it will show the serial number and then I could do individual presets per serial number. But I'm just going to do the one, create default, now it's right there. Now if you happen to be running Lightroom on your computer at, along with Photoshop, this will also apply this import preset to any imports you do in Lightroom, in my case, with the Nikon Z7 II. I hope that made sense. I'll click OK and then it will apply this each time I import a raw file in here. If for some reason you want to delete this, click these three dots right here and close uh, delete default. Now we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to cancel out of here. I just want to show you now. I'll take this raw file again and I'll open it up into Photoshop. And you'll notice it's using the Adobe Standard preset. Remember, that's the one I chose instead of the Adobe Color. And if I go down to Detail, you'll see everything zeroed out. So it opened up with those default settings that I wanted it to open up with. Furthermore, if you go here and you go to, uh, if I do some adjustments and I reset to open, or it will reset itself to this. So for example, if I like just, you know, I don't know, let's just do this real quick, right? All right, let's just like go crazy. Okay, there, I did some settings to it, but then I go here and I go reset to open. It'll reset it to the Adobe standard and the detail settings that I had set. So that's how you uh, create a camera profile for Adobe Camera Raw. And again, that is an import profile in Lightroom as well. So it, um, you kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.